The Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. Operate. Your letter said $500 plus half all the bets. Is that right? If he wins. He'll win. Show us why. <laughs> Who's going to beat him, Mr. Lewis? Mighty fine country, son. There's no looking back. We've come too far. I wasn't really looking back. I was just remembering back. What do you say we start from here? Fine. Let's take a look around, son. How does it look to you, Mark? What? I said, how does the spread look to you? Looks good. That's the way. That's the way. Yeah! It looks good to me, too. All right? We've come far enough. Give it a try. A little prize money could help make our first payment on the Dunlap place. Good 
afternoon. Afternoon, ma'am. We'd like a room if you can accommodate us. We can accommodate you, but it won't be in style. Most everybody's in town for the turkey shoot. Well, anything will do. Room five. That'll be two dollars, half in advance. I'd like to see about entering this turkey shoot. Judge. Another customer. Judge. Well, it's a draw and fire proposition with a five second time limit. You're not going to enter with a rifle. I'll take a try at it. Ten dollar entrance fee, five hundred dollar first prize. Your name, sir? McCain. Lucas McCain. This is my boy, Mark. Uh, Mark? Judge Hanavan, Mr. McCain. I own the California house, and I preside in court on the rare occasions when North Fork has a trial. Now, no offense, Fred. It's not your fault any more than it's mine. Or any less. Fred Thompson, McCain. Sheriff's getting a little too lazy for his job. Well, glad to meet you. Uh, see you around, McCain. Well, Mark and I have decided this part of the country's for us. Mm, market for beef's mighty low. It'll go up. Looking for a ranch? We saw the Dunlap place. One of the finest ranches in this part of the country. Price for a quick sale. About uh, how much are you prepared to pay? Well, uh, about how much are they prepared to ask? Anybody here want to bet money on the pistol shoot? Uh, Judge, you got any more dudes come in and think they can shoot? Mr. McCain just signed up. All right, Mr. McCain. I'm laying five to three. My boy will outshoot you or anybody else that pulls a trigger. I'm not a betting man. Man who won't bet ain't much of a man, the way I figure. No offense, Mr. McKay, no offense. It's just my way of thinking. A man doesn't gamble, misses one of the joys of living. If you're serving, we'd like to eat. Best food in town. About the only thing Jim Lewis hasn't got in North Fork is my cook in this building. Well, Mark, you go on inside and order for both of us. I'll take the bedrolls upstairs, son. Sure, Paul. Anybody come in here with some cash, money, let me know, will you, Judge? I'll be at the last chance. Would you like to come and sit with me? Well, yeah, I guess I might as well. I'll have some of that beef stew. I'd like the same. I guess you must be pretty fast with that gun. Well, I guess I'm just about as fast as anybody there is. My pa, he doesn't use a pistol. He uses a rifle, but he's pretty fast, too. No man with a rifle is a fast man with six gun. My pa is. When we was living in the nations, they used to call him the rifleman. He's the greatest shot in the world. Well, he may stand tall where you come from, kid, but uh, he ain't shooting against no sod busters. He's shooting against me. You'll see. What's your name? My name's Vernon. Mine's Mark McCain. Is that your poem, the lobby? No, he's my uncle. My pa says I'm not old enough to carry a pistol right yet. Well, I've been wearing one and shooting ever since I can remember. I must have uh, had a gun since I was six years old. You're lucky, Vernon. That's what my Uncle Wes says. I can shoot my dad's rifle, but he won't let me carry a pistol. What about your ma? She died a long time ago. What happened to yours? I never had one. Don't it bother you? I mean, not having a ma or a pa? I reckon. Sometimes it bothers me considerable. I'm sure it's McCain. I heard the kids say so. When I first heard that name and saw that rifle, something struck me. Then the kids All right, up. Fred. This may be what we've been waiting for. We'll pass the word. This here is Vernon, Pa. Uh, glad to meet you, Vernon. They told me you're a pretty good shot. I'm the best. Pleased to meet you. You live here in North Fork? I don't live anywhere in particular. Uh, we're standing over the last chance, Mr. Lewis. Uncle Wes says he just about runs this town. Uh, I've heard his name mentioned. Oh, I'm still betting the same, Judge. Five to three, that young fellow wins the match. I'll take 3,000 to your 5,000, Mr. Lewis. That's covered. What made you change your mind, Judge? Well, maybe I don't think your boy is as good as you say. Or maybe you think that new fellow McCain is better. Maybe.
Did you ever shoot for money before, Vernon? You just don't bet against me, Mr. McCain. All right. Would you like some more pie? No, thanks. I'm full. I would. Please. Vernon, what are you doing sitting here? Get up and get out. I told you I didn't want any running off at the mouths of strangers. He was having lunch with my son. Did you hear me, boy? Get moving. It's time we're at the match. Uh, I'll have to come back for that pie later, man. Mark? Mr. McCain is sure glad to meet you. Same here. You leave him alone, do you hear? Come leave on, him alone. come on. He's a regular old war horse, isn't he? What's the man, Judge? Mr. McCain, this is Jim Lewis. You must have a pretty good reputation, McCain. You've been in town less than a half an hour, and already $3,000 has been wagered on you taking top money. You bet on me? I did, sir. So did a lot of others. McCain, just how good are you? I'm good enough. I hope you're not too good. That would be a mite costly for you, wouldn't it? Let's go, Mark. Oh, you sit down, McCain. We haven't finished talking to you yet. You're wrong, Mr. Lewis. You finished talking to me a long time ago. Now, hold it, McCain. <laughs> well, you boys might be running this town. But that means nothing to us. Son? Just a question of time, Mr. McCain. Just a question of time. You hit him pretty hard, Paul. Well, he was pretty big, son. They won't cause trouble, will they? I mean, about getting our ranch. Mark, the only trouble we might have is paying for it. And I think we'll have that whipped in short order. center, three near misses. Change the target. The next contestant is Carl Lamprey. Five shots, five seconds. Ready? Two center, three misses. Change the target. Next contestant, Jim Lewis. Mr. McCain, could I speak to you in a moment? Wait here, Mark. I just might win this match myself. Ready? What's the matter? Mr. McCain. Three center, one near miss. I think there's one something you ought to know about this town. Change the target. Belongs to Jim Lewis. All of it? Well, he tolerates me as long as I don't give him any trouble. Oh, I see. No, I'm afraid you don't. Lewis has been around here now almost four years. During that time, a lot of things have happened. A lot of people have been buried. He don't lose, Mr. McCain, not ever. You're not volunteering this information. No, I'm not. Why don't you take off that badge? The next I'll tell you why, Mr. Bob McCain. Bigfoot. Because as long as I wear it, I can do a little good. Not much, but a little. Ready? And that's better than none at all. Two center, three near misses. Next contestant, Vernon Tippert. I'm up in the odds. Five to one on my boy. Any takers? Going fire. Five shots, five seconds. Ready? Five hits, all in the center. The next and last contestant is Lucas McCain. Step up, Lucas, and good luck. Mark, go congratulate your friend. That was mighty fine shoot. Mr. McCain, just in case you are as good as your friends think you are, I better make one thing clear to you. Go ahead, Mr. Lewis. You make one thing clear to me. There's only one man now. Keep that boy from winning this match. That's right. If he does it, I'll have him killed. Five shots, five seconds. Good luck, Paul. Thanks, son. Ready? All in the center. It's a tie shoot. Move the target back 20 feet. This time you'll really show him, Paul. Just dumb luck, that's all it was. Are you sure? Put him in again. 
Do you hear me? Ready. Dip it first. Ready? Four in the center, one just out. Lucas? Mr. McCain. Ready? Four center, one way out. Congratulations. I told you so. Nobody beats my boy. It's all right, Paul. Guess you've got to miss once. You're that close. Let's go, son. That was good shooting, Lucas, in any case. That was good shooting, McCain, as good as any I've ever seen. I say, you don't go away feeling unhappy. Here's the $10 it cost you to enter the match. If you ever feel like working for us again, you just feel free to ask. I'll make that 20, Mr. Rifleman, because I figure you really earned it. You have nothing to say to me, McCain. Key man, please. What about our ranch, Paul? The ranch is not for sale. What's he mean, Paul? Paul? Mark, where's your dad? Upstairs. What's the matter? Nothing. Did you hear the talk about him throwing the man? I don't care what the talk is. It's not true. Well, I got to ask him personally. Come on, boys, drink up. I'm buying. All right, Mr. Lewis, how about paying Mr. Tippett what you want? You got your five hundred dollars for winning the match. What else do you want? You know what I want. You still got your letter saying I get $500 plus half of all the money won. You collected over $10,000 in bets. That means $500 plus $5,000 for Uncle Wes. Pay up before I get rough with you. What do you mean by rough? You know just what I mean. I'll call my boy in here and turn him loose. Oh, I wouldn't want that. Mm. I'll make a bet with you. You see that picture up over the bar? I think you're so drunk you couldn't hit the floor with your hat, but if you can put a 45 slug through that picture, you'll get your money plus another thousand besides. Otherwise, we'll forget the whole thing. That's a bet. I wonder why that old fool tried to kill you, Mr. Lewis. Must be crazy, I guess. Listen, Mr. McCain, there's something I want to ask you, and I'd like a straight answer. We're leaving, ma'am. There's talk that you threw that match. Is that true? Because if it is, I don't want no share of the prize. I'll answer that for you. Mr. McCain did not throw the match. That's right. Best he could. Just wasn't good enough. I hope that's answer enough for you, Vernon. Well, it ain't. I want you to tell me. Hey, kid. You'd better come over and get your uncle's body. He uh, just got himself killed. My uncle? Yeah. Tried to outdraw Jim Lewis. No, you're lying to me. Well, why don't you come over and find out for yourself? I'll drag him out if you're scared, Sonny. No, I'll come over there. You tell him that. Yeah. yeah I'll tell him that. And you, mister, I ain't forgetting about you. Get out of here. Don't go over there, Vernon. I've got to get my uncle. Vernon! You asked if you beat me fair and square in that match. 
You still want an answer? Yes. Why, you wet-nosed, two-bit little punk, you couldn't whip me in ten years. So don't go spouting off about going into that saloon. Get out of here. You just shut up and listen. I want you to stay here. And if I don't come back, that boy of mine is your responsibility. You get on our horses and get out of here. You understand? Well, I'm not asking you to do this, Brandon. I'm telling you. If you want to start something, Start with me right now. All right, Mr. McKinnon, you don't have to worry none about Mark. I'll take good care of him. Thanks. Now you get the horses packed and wait for me here. Sure, Pa. Coming, Mr. Luz, it's McCain. All right, boys, it goes for him, too. Carl, you take your place. Oh, when he passes him the drink, you uh, start the party. It'll be my pleasure. for the boy's money. Looks like they sent a man to do a boy's job. You have a choice, McCain. You can walk out of here and walk on out of town, or hang tough and face a shootout. Well, a proposition like that requires a little thought. Maybe you'd like a little drink while you're thinking. Sure. Stay away from me. That's not too bad, Vernon. But the wrist may heal a little stiff. No. It'll be all right. Maybe so. Mr. McCain, will you do me a favor? If that boy of yours, Mark, ever gets any funny ideas, you tell him that I said he's the lucky one. All right, I will. Good luck to you, son. You're leaving town. That's right, Judge. North Fork's beginning to grow up, Lucas. We're going to need people like you to help it. I hope you'll stay. Well, what do you say, son? You still want that ranch? Yeah! <laughs> 